Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own discord bot in python. So let's get started. So guys in today's video we will be seeing how we can create embeds which will make our commands look more beautiful and attractive. And we will see how we can send custom emotes and animation through our discord bot. So let's right get into it. <laughs> So let's create one function so I can say my bot.command and we can give one aliases as well. So I'm going to say aliases. Aliases is just used for, uh, you know, an alternative for the command name. So I'm going to say embed or something like that. This is just for your future reference and we can say async def and we can say custom embed. So this is a main command name and this is just an alternative to it and we can pass as many analysis as we want. This is just a list. Now we have to pass our ctx in here which is our context and um, in the previous video I forgot to tell you all that what are async functions. So basically our asynchronous functions just are coroutine objects which just returns as coroutine and we need to await to just call these functions. Now what we can do is we can define a variable embed and I can set it equal to my discord.embed and we can pass one title. So basically uh, title is just a coag and it's not mandatory to give it and I can just pass this is my title. Similarly we have one description. So let's give a description something like this is my description and we can pass the color so it's it's neither necessary to pass the color but i'm just showing you to how we can just pass the color so i can say discard dot color dot red or there are many other colors as well and as you can see it has a hex value of 0x and this is the hex code of red and we have just passed 0 and x to just assign it to it so we can also say discard dot color dot random and it will uh, just uh, set a random color every time we call this function and we can also pass one timestamp so I can say time stamp and I can just import my date time it is just a default module provided by python and in my timestamp I can say date time dot date time dot utc now and make sure to pass the parentheses now this is our main embed variable so basically this is uh, it is not just necessary to pass all these stuff i'm just uh, passing all these stuff so that you can see what all is available for you so i can say embed dot set image so set image is just to uh, just set an image to your embed this is also not a necessary argument but yeah you can use it now uh, let's say we want to set the image of our guild which is our server's logo like whatever your server's logo is so we can do it by context dot guild so our context will have a guild object and we can say icon url so this will set the image as the guild's icon url now i can say embed dot set thumbnail so we can set a thumbnail even in our embed so i can just pass the url of my thumbnail as ctx.author so whosoever use this command will be the ctx.author dot i can say avatar url so this will just set the thumbnail image as the profile picture of the author who used this command now i can say embed dot set and as you can see we can set a footer even or even an author so i can set the author as name to or ctx dot author which is our the person who used the command dot name and we can set the icon url as ctx dot author dot avatar url now we can also add fields in our embed so i can say embed dot add field and it requires two necessary parameters which are name and value so i can say my first parameter as name one which is just to demonstrate what this exactly does and its value will be value one 
I can just copy this and we can pass as many fields as we want. So I can just say value two, name two. Now we can just uh, we can just say await or context dot send or uh, embed is equal to embed. So basically this embed is our coag and this embed is the variable which we are using here. Now let's try running it. So the bot is running now. What we can do is now we can say embed. Now you can see the author is code stacks, which was the user of this command, and the icon URL is the profile picture of me, and the thumbnail is my profile picture. This is my title, this is my description, this is my field one and its value one, this is my field two, and this is value two. And this is my image, which I which is the guild image, which I just um, mentioned as set image so set image is url ctx.guild.icon url now this is my timestamp today at 12 45 pm now we can also do one thing like let's say uh, these two fields are in a single line let's say i want them to be in other line or individual lines so for that i can just say inline is equal to false so it is true by default and we can just set it to false and we can also pass hyperlinks in our embed hyperlinks is just a text and when we click it it is just a hyperlink through a link of a website so how can we do it so let's say i can just change if my value one uh, i'll just uh, you know pass the square brackets here and i'll just open curly brackets which is just my parentheses and i can pass my website link here or any link basically so this will be my reflected hyperlink and this will be the redirecting URL. So I can just copy it and paste it to my second value as well and I can just change it to something like click here. And let's try running it again. It says it's ready. Now I can say custom embed. Now as you can see I can call either of the commands. So it says this is my title and this is value one value one will redirect it to my website and click here and I can just open my website like this and it opens my website and it's working so that's how hyperlinks work it's quite interesting you can you can even remove one or two stuff like uh, I need not to have a thumbnail in my embed I can remove my image I can remove anything and this is just a prototype of how you can use embeds now let's create one function for custom emotes so i can say bot.command and i can say async dev emotes and i can just pass my ctx and i can say await ctx.send now here i'll be sending my emotes we have several types of emotes in discord like these are my default emotes which you can see so in order to send these default emotes like this is smile this is Grin, so you can see here is the name reflected so I can just send them by smile grin so I can send them see send these default emotes like this now in order to send custom emotes like I have custom emotes of this server which are like this this is testing this is win and we have animated emotes as well so firstly let's try this win so in order to send this i'll just put a backslash in the back and when i'll press enter i can get the name of the emote included with the ta with the id of the emote so i can just copy whole of it and i can paste it right here similarly i can take one more emote like that like this is testing and i can just copy it and paste it right over now in order to send animated emotes we just need to get the name the id and we just have to pass an a in the front so i can just say like we have some emotes of uh, animation like this is tech pass backslash at the right and you can just copy it so uh, we have one press f as well so i can just type this and i can say press F and I can just close it and here I get the a in the front name of the emote and ID of the emote I can just copy whole of it 
paste it right over now let's try running it again now the bot is ready now i can just test out my emote function and when i say emote then here the emotes comes with these are the default emotes these are my custom emotes and these are my animated custom emotes so that's how we send custom emotes and also we have one help function which comes default with our uh, discord bot so this is my uh, this is my default help function as you can see uh, this says no category custom embed emote help which shows this message so i can even remove this default help message and create a message such as this box and this one so i can just say remove custom message i'll make a video on that very soon so that's all for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next video